start recording. Good morning. Happy Monday already. Good Monday today. I can feel it in my bones. Come on in. Yeah, we're going to have a good time this week. How are you? Did you have a good weekend? Do come in. Let me just check that this is all working. Loads of things flashing up here. Hopefully it's working. Let's see. Can we see anybody? Can anybody see me? Mm -hmm. It seems to be a little bit slow, the internet. Good morning, Helen. Everything all right? Because it seems to have frozen and I don't know if it has or not. Uh, Stuart, maybe you could let me know. Good morning, everybody. Come on in. I'm going to pretend that everything's fine. If it's frozen, then I'll, I'll, I'll stop it all and start it again. I'll reboot, as they say. Okay. Um, how is everybody? All right. Um, cool, this is uncomfortable. Sound works. Okay, good. Um, the only thing is that the screen's telling me that it's frozen. So as long as it's fine, I'm fine. I just would appreciate a little bit of feedback from somebody just to let me know. Okay. Good, that's why we come to the party early, isn't it? So that we can check these things. Okay, let's have a look. Oh dear, nobody's here. All right then. Well, I'm here and you're here. Can you see me okay? I'm certainly not moving here. Oh dear, oh dear. All right. Stuart reckons it's all working. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play my old trick because there's nothing worse than you're looking at somebody, something in the corner saying it isn't working. I'm just going to cover it up with a bit of paper. <laughs> Denial. <laughs> That'll do. Don't know why it does that. <sighs> and breathe. I was really looking forward to this morning. I, I so enjoyed this weekend looking at all your lovely artwork on Clarity, uh, on Clarity Worldwide. Yeah, cracking job you did of those little houses. Cracking job. In fact, I thought, we're going to crack on. We're going to do more of a cracking job with those little houses. Do something different. We've done the long art, haven't we? We could come back to the long art with another subject. I've got something else in my head, but I thought now we're on the houses, we'll stay with the houses. Yeah, sound good to you? Let me just check that everything's working. Sounds like it is. Good morning. Come on in. Not very nice day today. Outside. But there we are. It's only a little bit of rain, a little bit of drizzle. All good. And are the cats okay? They're growing like weeds, those little kittens. My little, my little um, Vikings. Yeah, good morning. I just saw Greg flash through. Good morning, Greg. Nice to have your company. Okay, I hope everybody's well and safe. All our best to Sue Dakin. She's in, in the wars at the moment. You all right, Sue? Keep going, girl. <laughs> Keep going. I feel great today. It's like last week never happened, isn't it? I'm glad to hear it, Helen. I'm glad to hear it. It's like lots of things. This too shall pass. You know, it's like traffic. It just goes along the road and it goes down into the distance. Now things come up and they're glaringly large and then suddenly as they move on through your life, they get smaller. Mm. It's the way it is, isn't it? Great result this weekend. Oh yes. In the back of the net, Mr. Biden. Uh, anyway, that's that, and this is this. And today we're going to build some houses together. I think that'll be great, don't you? Uh, what's the time? One minute to. Stuart's in the building with you, and he will be able to answer any of your questions. Um, if you have any inquiries or you're looking for anything in particular, I thought I'd ramp it up a little bit, you know, skills wise. Last week, with everything that was going on with lockdown and chaos, just general global carnage and chaos, I thought, do you know, we keep it simple. And we did, didn't we? And, uh, and I think that was exactly right what we did, you know, just hanging out together, hunkering down, doing a little bit of safe doodling. Nothing too demanding. Nothing too demanding. 
Oh, by the way, I didn't do a banoffee pie. Three hours? Three hours you're supposed to boil the tins? I thought, no wonder they exploded last time. How could I sit, pull up a chair and sit next to the Arga for three hours? I don't think so. <laughs> so, so it didn't happen. I know I'm going to buy the ready-made caramel. Oh, sure, for sure. Has anybody got any uses for evaporated milk? Because I've got tins of it now. <laughs> Three hours, it said in the in the recipe. I thought it's never going to happen. No wonder I forgot about it last time. A lot can happen in three hours. Anyway, come on in. Welcome to the Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft. And this week, we're taking what we did last week and we're just moving it through. Same, just a little bit larger. One of the things that I found last week, it, it the little windows and the little houses, um, they were really pretty, really rinky-dink, but it, you wanted to make them a little bit larger, you know? So I thought, I know, we'll make them a bit larger. We're in control, we can do that. And so I thought today, because last week we did bookmarks, didn't we? You know, on that functional art journey that we're on now trying to make some Christmas presents and some thoughtful presents. I thought today we could look at coasters or canvases. So in other words, square. Sound good? I'll show you. Some of you are into canvases and mixed media and some of you will want to make coasters. You know, either way, same size, just to, the artwork's the same, just got to decide. It's a good idea at the beginning though to know where you're headed. It always is, isn't it? Right? just to have a rough idea of where we're going. So I'll show you what I've come up with. All you need for this one is, I, I, I mean, I, I, you know what I'm like. I like to draw on tracing paper first, yeah, just to get my composition. And then once I've done that, then we can decide, are we gonna go to, we could go to the buff paper. Paper's good. Paper, whatever we do, we go in paper because the paper goes in the, um, it goes in the coasters really well without them popping open and paper wraps around the canvas really well. So either way, whether we go to designer paper, buff paper, copy paper, paper it is, okay? Phew. We took our curtains down as kittens kept climbing them. Oh, oh great. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what I needed to see soon. Right, are we ready? Come on, let's get going. Camera number two, please. So this is where we, this is what I've drawn up for us. Uh, can you see that okay? Yeah. See if I put a bit of white copy paper underneath it, see if it shines up a bit better then. All right, it's just a rough draft. It, this is a moving feast. This is what you want it to be. It's the same as the little houses that we did last week, except they're a little bit bigger. That's all. It's exactly the same. Bit bigger. And also there's a trick to layering them up, isn't there? And then I was looking at this. See, because it's easy, really. All you need for this one is an H, a pencil and a piece of paper. There you go. So I've got my pencils. These are the pencils that I, I like using. I've got HB, look, well loved. So bog standard pencil. On this occasion, I'm going to use the H the, uh, for hard. And the reason being, so I want to get a bit of detail going. I think H is good. Oh, I've got two H's in here. I'll take the sharper one. Right, H or HB, there you go. So two lead pencils, whatever you've got, come on. Whatever you've got. And a rubber, an eraser, because you... This is the pot. This is where you rub it out, and you you do what you, so that you like it, right? You don't. You're not stuck with it. Like if you're not keen on that that chimney, then knock it out. Look, get rid of it, and then and then do it differently. There you go. It's just a standard chimney like that. I didn't want that thing at the end. So you can you can change it totally. And I was looking at the cut. This is so detailed, um, but I thought it would be really nice because this is quite folk folky folksy um let me show you from this camera um i thought it'd be nice to do a border because i had to look at all the different borders we've done and this one's just going to be different random little boxes of patterns but the reason i say that is because it's going to be colorful that's in my head i've got this picture as quite colorful 
okay? However, having said that, you could just as easily do it on buff paper like we did last time. What is that scrap one that I did? Oh, oh, nearly. Like that one there, my scrap that I was working on, see? And um, you could do it on buff. This would look nice on buff with a little bit of blue. You see, same sort of sketch as that. That would look pretty too. But I have it in my head that I want to make them colourful. In my mind's eye, right, in my little vision in my head, I see for me four not one but four little towns like this little town scenes it didn't it didn't take long right different different angles different shapes maybe the odd tree maybe the odd lamp post yeah maybe a little dog maybe some steps right but real busy like do you know what i think inspired me here did you see um attenborough in the city last night with the monkeys and the Unbelievable. And the cheetahs in Mumbai, I don't think so. That, that just, my bucket list just got shorter. <laughs> I'm not going there. Got, they've got cheetahs roaming around outside the city. And then the one with the hyenas. Did you see it? Oh. And they say animals. Animals are so intelligent. Unbelievable. Anyway, I digress. But I was looking at that and I thought, yeah, yes. That's what we'll do. We'll do four different scenes. This is what I have in my head, you see. So I've got four different scenes, different like colours, tone in tone, quite folk arty, right? And then I'm going to make four little canvases like this, see? And I'm going to mount them like that and they'll be colourful. And then this, this border will just sit on the inside there. That's going to sit exactly. So there'll be a colourful border around there. But I'm going to do it on copy paper and then stick the paper on here. Or do it on buff paper and then stick the paper on here. That's my, that's what I'm going to do. This is a four by four inch canvas board. And then I'm going to stick it, you know how we do this, I'm going to attach it to a six by six inch canvas board and that will make a beautiful present. And then I'm going to do four of them. This is my plan. So they sit together or they could sit apart. But I think that'll, that's quite a project, but a lovely gift as well, don't you think? Or four little gifts. You know, I could maybe make one for one for four people or four for one super, super special person. <laughs> I reckon for one for four people is probably going to be more my speed. <laughs> See, and then the other thing is, or... Or we can make coasters. See, and then the coasters, they sit, look, like a treat. Result. The only thing is, right, that the recess in the coaster, let me just get my nail in there to show you. The recess in the coaster is the inside of the frame. Do you get it? So if you wanted to put, if you want it, it's going to sit inside there. So that bit there, you've got to go in one more. So... It's four by four, but then you're going to have to come in half an inch. Do you see? You're going to have to come in not quarter of an inch, but half an inch. And then you'll have a border around within the... Otherwise, the border is going to be here, which is no good because you'll never be able to shut it. It'll just... Look, it will squish. So now's the time to decide whether you're going to make a canvas... Listen, you can make a card. Don't don't listen to me. You could just do it on a bit of card. Look, four by four. Um, but I'm going because we wanted to do functional art. We did bookmarks, canvas or poster. You decide. I'm going canvas just because. Coaster. Just got to go in one more. Okay. These are great. They're great. Stuart will tell you where they are if you want to. Nice present, anyway. So, this is what we're going to go for. Right? Have you got your tracing paper? Have you got your pencil? And have you got your eraser? That's all you need. Tracing paper. Um, pencil. And a rubber. And then we'll get our composition. Today, it's layout and composition. Yeah? And then, Wednesday, it's go for. Go for it. With colour. I've got a couple of tricks up my sleeve, but I want to try some bits out first. I've been thinking about the colour. I've got to do a little bit more experimenting. However, paper it is. 
and so if that's going to be let's take that out of there that's going to be my my master and then we're going to go together because there is a there's definitely a sequence on this so if i put that under there you can see better what i'm doing i'll just put in a bit of copy paper underneath the underneath the leaf of tracing paper that i'm using right you ready are you ready to rock and roll have you got your h or your hb pencil then what we're going to do first of all is get our frame that's seeing the other thing i digress i know but you see these bits here the wires there I've got three of them uh, two, two, one, right so these i put them in right at the end and i was thinking so if I was going to do my four, this was my idea anyway, this was my thought on this. If I was going to do my four um, pictures and change them, then these three wires are going to change in the pictures and they will create the backdrop for me. So, for example, this one's got like fairy lights. So that one's got fairy lights. I could change the shape of them but they're like little baubles, right? So we could put them on celebration time, lights for sure, okay? And then I've got bunting, so I could put bunting on there. So you've got to do all this before you do your inking. Then this one here looks a bit weird, but actually that's just snow. That's just a line of whiteness over the top, all right? And then we've got our little birds, because we know how to do those. So I was thinking with my four pictures, the the houses are going to change as well but the key change is going to be these this these lines these cables i thought that'd be i thought that'd be fun to do and then my birds see i can i can make them i can i can make them into outline birds if i choose to can't i so that's that's my plan who's with me who's with me fancy i think it'd be lovely you could do different times of the day, two different times of the year. You could do summer fate with the bunting, right? You could do the birds in the springtime. Yeah, really nice, couldn't you? And then you could change the colourways as well to go with the seasons. Mm. The whole point of this is to redirect your thinking all the time you're planning this kind of thing yeah you know, it might be a big project four pictures but all the time you're working on those four pictures you're not thinking about anything else you're not worrying about anything else you're only worrying about what colors to use how am i going to stick it on the canvas it's a massive massive distraction very good for the head very good for you and and i know that we'll get some beautiful artwork out of this as well and do you know what time's on our side there is not a deadline there is not an exam at the end we it takes as long as it takes and so we can slow down don't have to panic it'll be all right see i'm looking forward to this one where do you think you start on it where do you think you start do you think you start at the front or the back? That's right. You start at the front. Well done. <laughs> okay. But before we start at the front, what do we need to establish the picture? That's right. We need a frame. Boom. Four by four I'm going because the four by four sits on the canvas and in the coaster. Right. So I'm going to draw around my... I'm going to draw around my um, thingy, my canvas board. But you, if you've got nests, you know the nested squares, you draw around them. You can use a ruler, you do what you like, right? But you just need to decide what you're actually doing with your artwork, okay? Or maybe you don't want to do anything with it. Maybe you just want to hang out and just doodle something, okay? Something. Good. Now let's have a look then. So I'm gonna I'm going to start with my canvas, four by four inch, and I'm just gonna gonna draw it in there. So I've got my composition, if you like. That's my my box. That's my outside edge, and then it'll fold around there, won't it? 
And then I want my 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 border on the inside. Now I've got choices. I can use a ruler. I can go. I can go. Um, do what you like. Right. I'm going to do about. I reckon that will do. If I just do one one of these little. That's quite. That's a bit bigger than I had before. But I think having having drawn it once already, um, I. W I wished that I had gone a little bit larger because the the border was a little bit busy what I had him in mind with all these different patterns on it. See, so I'm lining up the ruler. That's it. And then we just come through here like so. This would be lovely to do. We're going we're gonna to have some fun doing this one. Right, let me just line up that edge there like so. OK, so I've got my border. And I've got my squares. See? And when we go to wrap it around the canvas or... Now, here's the thing, and I'm going to repeat myself here. If you wanted to do a coaster, okay, now you've got to come in one time. You've got to come in one a little bit further, haven't you? You've got to make a half inch gap so that you've got a frame around the outside. So now we've got that. Cool. Yeah, we're on it. Look, halfway there. <laughs> now we're going to start with the houses. Now, houses, houses, houses. So what I was thinking, we'll start with this one here. So we're, we're going to go, we've got that one. This is how I worked it out before. I did this one, then I did that one, then I did that one, then I did that one. Then I started going up to the next level, you see. So you do the front lot first. And the other thing to do is probably get the shapes in first before we start filling them all with windows. Let's get the shapes in first. How do you fancy that? Yeah. So the first house, because it's all about size, isn't it? You want the first one to be about right. The first one's quite, they're quite large because we want to get them in. So there you go. Four cent, <clears throat> what's that? Four centimeters, one and a half inches. Yeah. So about there. Let's not get too hung up on it. It's about there, roughly, isn't it? Okay. And then we're going to make our our. Shall I come in a bit tighter? Is that will that help? Do you think? Hang on a minute. Come in like that, then you can see what I'm doing. No, that's too faded. I'll come over like that. Bring that one in like that. I can fold this one. Right. Come on, Gray. Where there's a will, there's a way. Right. See, if I do that and that, then I can see it. You can see it. And let's come in a bit tighter. Oh, hello. OK, that's better. You see that all right now? I think the trick is to keep it simple. Keep it simple, isn't it? And it doesn't always have to be the same. But you can see, if you look at the houses, they're sort of funky, like we had last week. I think they, they're nice like that, don't you? So you want a nice sharp edge, and then we're going to put a roof in. So roof next, roof, like that. This is going to be quite a fat sort of house, I think. Fat house, like that. Cool, that's very fat, Grey. That'll do, though. There you go. And now you can, you can decide. If that's that house there, then we're going to bring another one in here. You decide where you want it, look. I've already done mine once. Let's get the shapes in, and then we can change them as we go, you see. That's the key, isn't it? So bring that one in like so. This is sort of a hot side on house, isn't it? Let's get a bit of a sketch going here. Like that. We can always change it in a minute. Like a bit of a sketch. There you go. Like that. This is a bit of a round one. There you go. They've got that sort of fat style, haven't they? That'll work. Yeah. So you've got that one that way. I haven't got much room there for that little house in the corner. If we want to put one in there, then maybe we want to get rid of this bulb, this area here, right? So I'm going to come in a little bit more on this one. That'll work. So it comes down like that. A bit taller. 
a little less fat. I know why that is. That's because I made a much bigger border. That's all right though. This is the uh, this is what a rubber's for, right? It's not instant art, is it? So you're going to come down like that. Let's make that one a bit slightly smaller. In fact, what we could do just to right scrap this. It's all right. That's the whole idea of doing this. This is called layout and composition. Right, we'll get a bit further in like that. Okay, that'll work. There you go, got a bit more gap now. Just brought it that way a little bit. No planning permission required. Just went straight. There you go, that's that. That comes around like so. There you go. Let's get the layout right. So now we can put a little one in there, see? So that's easy. Little chimney. Okay, that's that one sorted. Put the roof in. Put the roof in that one as well. Let's have a look. Ah, right, okay, I see what. Why have I made the roof so big? Mmm, grey. Go like that. Come in like that, a little bit less. A little less of a ha an overhang. That's it. A bit more on that side. That'll do. Okay, so we're doing the overhangs. There you go. I'm going quite hard so you can see it. Once I get once I like what I've done, I'll go back over it and I'll commit. You see? Okay, so then we've got that one. Done that one, that one, and that one. Now, what about this little one down here? What is that actually? Oh yeah. Okay. So this one has got a. Yeah. Okay. So this one, it's got a. A dormer window, I think that's what they're called. Well, I've got one here as well. So I'll come down here a little bit. That's it. And we're just going to make a V like that. There you go. Is that a dormer or a V Lux? <laughs> Arc at me as if I knew what I was talking about. That'll do. There's a little window in there. Little window. You wouldn't want that. You wouldn't want that room, would you? That's rubbish, Grey. You wouldn't want that room. See, that's the best thing about this. If you don't like it, you just go again. So we're going to come along there, make it a bit bigger this time. That's better. Right. Make a slightly larger window. That's it. And then it's... That'll do. And then we've got a little gutter. Should we call that a snow catcher? That'll do. Right, so that's that, that bit done. Okay, so we've got that one, that one, that one, that one. See at the front? That's nice. Get your layer in. So you've got your top layer in now. Yeah? I like that one there. So I'm going to commit to that one now. I like that. Okay. That wasn't so hard, was it? There, like so. So that's that house sorted. You got to get your central, the your central houses. Your your best ones are the ones at the front, aren't they? So we get that. That's got nice room for a big round window. Okay. Right. So now we've done that one. So what I what I came up with. I don't know if you can see this. This this was a last minute thing. This I built this afterwards. There's a there's a, a what's that called? Like a an underpass there. You see, through there you can drive through there. There's a little lamp. <laughs> This is a bridge. This is actually a bridge, okay? Did you know that? We'll do that in a minute though. So first of all, let's come up the side now and let's put another house, another house, big roof. It's all about the rooftops. Yeah, so we're gonna make a, let's make a rooftop about there. That'll do. There you go, that was it. That's your rooftop there. And then we've got a window There, like so. There we are. It's one of those windows. Nice. So we've got that one. Yeah. That's that one there, look. Cool. And then the next thing we want to do, I think, we probably want to sort the middle out. So let's do a flat roof. Let's do a flat roof. This is going to be this is going to be actually the bridge. Okay, this is this is like um, look, you could make a car go across there. 
you've got to use your imagination this is a bridge okay look there's a horse going across there that's it there so we need it needs a little bit more stability but actually it's houses in the bridge so this is going to be let's just make the let's just make the the, the bridge wall so that it's stable there you go so that's the bridge okay if you like let's just do that so you understand what it is that's it <laughs> that looks more like like state of the art um now we're going to turn that into an old funky bridge okay so that's that now so then we need we've done that then we need this little house are we building up all right here I'm not going too fast am i i didn't even have time to make a cup of tea this morning Never mind, always goes cold anyway. Everybody keeping up with me? What, what are we saying? What are we saying? I've just seen a great big long. I used to boil condensed milk like Barbara, but it took too long. I know. <laughs> She's still on the condensed milk. I'm all on the bridge. Come on, catch up. Right. Okay. So now we're going to make a little house on this side. Look, the, this little house and this little house is going to sit on the on the side here. You can put them where you like, but the, the trick, I suppose, what we're learning here is the construction of it. Like if we want to put that bridge in there, then this one's going to move over a little bit. I'm going to move this one over this time. That'll be all right. This is going to be over here. Doesn't matter, does it? See, I'm going to put that there because I want to put my bridge in there. See? Bridge. My little underpass. So I can move this house over. That's not a problem. Let's make a roof. That'll do. It's like the gatekeeper's house, this one, look. That's perfect. And then we need another one here. Look. Building up to the sky keep building it's really easy to do this so you got that one so now the next one if that's the bridge you want to put one on the bridge really don't you so that's going to come I'm going to say up there we'll keep that line straight we'll keep that line let's come up a bit further like that and then this one's going to come in like that leave a little room for you that's going to come down I'll make it wonky keep it on the like a bit of a wonky roof is that going to be all right? Can have I still got room for me? I think so. I might have to come over a bit. Hang on, I mean, might be moving over. Might be moving the roof over a bit. They don't build them like this anymore, do they? <laughs> there you go. That'll work. Let's make that roof a bit. Yeah, nice. Got another window in there. That'll come down there. I've got room for my bridge. My, my, look, through there. I like that feature. <laughs> but the thing is, you have to sort of, you have to do a rough one to get the right one, don't you? If you see what I mean. You can't, I'd love to see the person who can just do this straight away without any modifications. He's, he's a born architect, that fella. Or oh, that lady. Right, so that's that house there. That'll do. It's got a little bit of a roof on there. Little roof there. It's one of them little scallop roofs. Then we've got another house up there. It's this one here. It's a different shape, this one, isn't it? That'll do. So we've got one more up there. We've got another one here. Big one over here. Big one here. So I'm going to... Because I'm thinking... Yeah, this is going to be nice. So this one here... It's going to come, what do I think? Okay, I'm moving it over a little bit. That's all right. The chimney's going to be on this side, I've decided. Mm -hmm. Chimney's there, roof there, big window there, that'd be nice. And then that's going to come, oh, it's a little bit higher, isn't it, over there? I might have to bring it... Let's make it a bit higher. Come on. So that's going to come down like that. If that's the 
that goes up like so right there you go I can just put it up there like that and then I'll work it out accordingly so I'm, I'm actually planning now where my I'll do see I'm thinking ahead now it was easy the first time around because I didn't have to actually go to anything I just went freehand so that now I'm moving my chimney that chimney's coming let's just leave the chimney maybe he didn't have a chimney let's just leave the chimney out for a minute it's getting too busy that'll do okay now got that one now what do we need next so we've got house over there now we're going to put another one in here so you just build it up as you go but I'd like to at least so this one's quite tall so let's decide what the top the top is if the top's there let's make a triangle for the let's make a triangle where the roof's going to be and then we can always modify it afterwards this is the one in the sky this is the tower look see that this one here so this is the tower so we can bring the tower in a bit thinner this time doesn't matter who says right so this is the tower like that yeah and this has got a great big window so we knock that out we don't need that roof it doesn't need a roof does it so we're going to put a big window in there then that's going to come round like that that'll be lovely all right we've got a chimney there as well there you go look so there's one more house it's all, and then we've done all of them and it's only half past I mean I say I say I say right so this one see again looking at the if I want to bring the I mean, it's ridiculous you put in the cables in look I'm fitting sky before I've even built the house <laughs> now I've seen it all but that'll be all right look so you put another one in there like that that's the roof perfect just want a roof that's it sorted so there's the chimneys there that's the chimney on that one that's the cable that's that wire let's put the wire in let's make sure because then then this wire goes like that and then we can draw around the wire because we, do, we don't want to and then this wire is going to go from there now actually this one could go to there now on mine I had to put it through the window look <laughs> right so now this time I can go from there to there ready and then just go lightly until you're happy with the location boom so I've got one wire two wires three wires wonderbar there you go that wasn't bad ah oh, and we haven't done the we have the only thing we haven't done is this bit the so that comes down now's your chance before you start fiddling this is my this is my opinion right now you've got your shapes now's the time to decide whether you like them because once you start putting the windows in and what have you you're going to be snookered so now's the time to decide what you want to change okay so looking at this i'm thinking there's something not quite right here on the front on right at the front because this is the front house so this has got to be peach so let's have a look if this comes down I quite like it um, a bit more like that what do you think so I want to get a window in there do you think that roof should be a bit lower no that'll do I reckon that comes down like so see and then when when you put the this is going to be the border it's going to be the, the border yeah cool eh okay that works nice chimneys right so we've got a chimney there chimney there we didn't put a chimney in this one Just add a chimney there this one got a little bit busy did we decide we could put a little chimney in there there you go go for it Mm -hmm. I haven't got a chimney on that one yet okay so maybe what we could do let's have a look if I put a chimney there that'll be in front that looks a bit weird there you go okay so this is a great way to draw draw up isn't it 
but this is the point at which you do your now my, my, my old bridge this old bridge here what we could do is we could make these a little bit look that straight away that changes it a little bit doesn't it makes it look a bit more like an old bridge rather than a overpass how about that that looks nicer doesn't it yeah lots of room for improvement oh yeah i like that there you go now we haven't done well what we haven't done is our thingy here so if that's going to be coming through there what we need to do is put our arch in don't we so let's draw our arch in where we want to see it just lightly like that okay can you see what i'm doing just slightly that'll do that's a big arch barbara got to put windows that's a very big arch but that's all right because we want to put the so if we put that through there see the the trouble with this there's a flaw here because that runs exactly where the the roof line is which looks a bit weird so what we're going to do we're going to drop the roof down a little bit like that so if I just drop that down like that then the the wire that's more like it let me put the window in there right let's make this let's make this um right that's the middle bit isn't it come on we've all seen these and then and then they don't build them like this anymore and then off the center like that we start putting the bricks down don't we off the top like that looks really nice and it's it's obvious what it is when you do that otherwise it's one hell of a window so we bring these bricks down to the side see that'll work well Dave's told me all the names for all these different types of bricks this will brick work but that'd be great for shading won't it see and then it comes down like that and then there are you, you get these little because don't you've seen this and you know that every every big cars you can see all the different colors of the car paint can't you where they've knocked the side <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> in the old towns this is a very english or a European kind of thing isn't it hey what we're doing here right and then we'll bring those bollards in the sides this is the supports <laughs> through here yeah and that's where all the paint work gets <laughs> you catch it don't you and then here what we could do is we could put a, we could put a nice lantern right at the top like that one of those old lanterns the lamp lighter can come round in the evening at dusk and he can light it getting into it now hey there you go so you've got your lantern nice yeah it's a bit tall it's a bit tall it's all right it's for it's for um <laughs> it's for lorries <laughs> how many times on the sat -navs do these trucks get caught under roofs, eh? Right, I've just seen a da I've just seen um, a message from Stuart saying, "Show us how to open the." They they open like that, in how to open the coasters. When you get the coasters, these are great, but they they open. You just put your nail in there, and they open. There's, they're not glued or anything. If you use something really thick inside, like that's it, there's not really that much to explain. But let's say you take a bit of card like this, right? It slots in. So this here, this is a piece of card. Let me, I'm, I know I digress, but I just caught the, the, the message and I thought, right, before I forget, let me just show you. If I take a piece of stencil card, right? and I cut it into four 
quarters. The reason I know this is because I did this at the NEC. Do you know that today we would just be recovering from the NEC? We would have got back. For those of you who aren't from England or from the UK, the NEC stands for the National Exhibition Centre. And we always, in March and November, we always had a huge stand. We used to air live TV. Um, yeah, it's a big, big deal. Two biggest deals of the year, um, March and November. But of course, because of COVID, the NEC was cancelled this year. It was cancelled uh, in March as well. That's how long this has been going on. God help those poor organisers. I don't know how they're going to keep going. Anyway, today would have been the recovery day from the NEC, we would have got back last night at about midnight. Mm. So, so in a way, you know, the COVID has forced our hand in, in lots of ways because we couldn't do the NEC. And both Dave and I, we woke up at five o'clock this morning and said, cool, I tell you what, we wouldn't be waking up at five o'clock this morning full of beans if we'd done the NEC for four days. I can tell you. But the reason I know that these little pieces, they're three and a half inches, three and a half inches, it's seven, the, the, the Clarity Stencil card is seven inches by seven inches, okay? If you cut it into equal quarters, you get three and a half inches, right? And three and a half inches, follow me, the reason I know this is because when we're at the NEC, this is often what I, I make and then give away, if you see what I mean. These are the sort of the, the artwork, the little demos that you do. And that's why I know it. Right, so this little three and a half inch fella sits, see on one side, you've got like, um, you've got a positive and a negative. You see, this has got a little lip. And so a piece like that, three and a half inches will sit in there, a treat. So your artwork will be there. And then the back, it slots in and it clips, well, it doesn't clip in, it sits in. So once you're happy, you can, it will, it will hold. What I tend to do when I'm permanent, what I would do is take a bit of a glue runner or something, or a little bit of three mil tape, this stuff. This is just my own. Right, I would just put a little bit of that just on the, on the sides. What, you only need to put it on two sides two opposite sides like that, a little bit of three mil tape there and there. And then when you, you, when you close that, that's permanent then. If you want to open it, you can, you just put your nail in there or a knife, just a, a butter knife and prise it open again. But that's how it works. So you've got a back and a front to these, okay? That's, that's how they open though. If this, hang on, let me just get my nail in. If this is too thick, Say you, you put like two or three pieces, of something really thick in. I'm being, I'm being extreme now. But if you put something really thick in there, right, then it's not going to shut properly. And then you definitely, because the, the, this has got nowhere to go into. It still works with three pieces, but what you'll see is that it, it, it won't, it just, it's, it's not got a, it's not got a recess anymore to sit in. Okay, so that's why paper's good. One layer of card is good. Okay, that's what that's all about anyway. I hope that answers the questions that somebody had, Stuart. Yeah, they're good. We, we do Pergamano ones of these. We inherited these, they're really good. They're great for little gifts actually, aren't they? Especially for parchment, you see, because you've got double-sided. So you could put the picture, the artwork on the front and then to whom you know, to, for who the gift, the gift is. We make them for the table settings. They're nice at Christmas. You know, everybody had their own one. I remember doing that one year and everybody it said like Grace and Mark and everybody. And then they, they were able to take them home with them, which was a nice little something too. Right, so now let's have a, let's go back to this. So if there's anything you wanna change, you wanna change it while it's, while it's still in its raw condition like this, where you've just done the layout. Agreed? And once you've got that, now you could go in and start putting the, how, the, like the inside of the houses in. So what I'm gonna do is lean on this. And again, I'm gonna to go to the bottom and I'm gonna start building my pictures into place now, like my houses in. So for example, if that's the roof, then I need to decide where the door's gonna be first. So I'm gonna put a couple of steps up to the door. 
on this one and then I'm going to put a door that's big enough and then you can put panels in whatever you fancy so that's a nice door that's better than that one that one's a little bit squat so you put then I could put the look you've got a downstairs toilet as you come in now do you remember when we did this last time you put the outside edge in first it's quite a big window for a loo <laughs> <laughs> that'll do this is why I used an H pencil because you can get in tight H is just a little bit harder isn't it so this is a nice big window watch the world go by like that I've got upstairs as well so if that's going to be let's make the windows first there we are so decide where the windows are. Don't do it all and then decide they're in the wrong place. Put them in the right place first. And then when you've done that, once you're happy with the position, then f finish them off. Okay. That's better. So then we're going to put a little frame in and then there, nice. Right, big round one I think up here. Nice big round window, big arch window like that. And nothing is set in stone. If you don't like what you've done, then you stop and you rub it out. Now's the time. So let's see, I'm going to put a line through there. This is one of those, that'll do. I don't want to do more than that. That's exactly what I want to do, just like that. And then there's a little tiny window up there, there, little there. So I've got that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. I'm not sure about the downstairs toilet. I think that is a little bit extreme gray, hey? I might have to scrap the downstairs toilet. Is it necessary? Do you know what might look nicer? <laughs> A lamp post. Just think about a lamp post there instead of a downstairs loo. I'll leave that open. <laughs> I think. What do I think? I think. I'll leave it. The jury's out. Right, another door here. I don't think we need to step on this one. Just put a little door in. Hey, that'll do. N knob. Door knob, I mean. Here we are. Little door. And we're going to put a little window in there as well. How about look? This is a simple one. This is a first time buyer's home, this one. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Yeah, I know. It's not easy starting out, is it? <laughs> I rented for most of my life. I actually did. This is, I think this is the first house where we live now. It's the first time, well, I don't, we don't own it. Are you kidding? If we, if we keep paying the mortgage, we get to stay here. That's how I see it. I don't own it. But um, I think it's the first time we haven't rented per se. Because I think we, I lived abroad for so many years. That was the thing. When I lived in Germany, that looks a bit weird, doesn't it? When I lived in Germany, I'm going to change that. Um, a lot, most of us used to rent. It was it was sort of what one did, especially in the cities. When I lived in Nuremberg, we just rented. Everybody rented. Very few people bought property in Germany in those days. I don't know what it's like now, but in those days it was definitely... I'm going to come out a bit more like that. I think that'll do. Um, yeah, and so... So I always rented in Germany. And then the same in America, because it was a bit of a temporary fixture. Our life was a bit temporary through the military. So we just we just rented because you, you weren't going to stay in one place for very long. But we didn't stay on, on, um, on camp. So I um, stayed on Fort, uh, Fort Ord in California for a little while. That was wonderful. I enjoyed that. 
Right, this is going to be a little snow catcher along here. Yeah, so I've always rented. I listen, you can't take it with you, can you? Um, and that's the thing, when you live abroad for a long time, you, you, by the time you come back, hang on, that window needs to be a bit bigger. By the time you come back, I didn't, I didn't come back home until I was 35, you know. And um, just make that window there, like that. Nice. Yeah, so all my mates from school were like, yeah, I bought my house for £4,000 back in the 70s. Well, lucky you. You couldn't buy the front door for £4,000 by the time I got back. <laughs> lucky you. Good for you, I said. So, yeah, and now the price of property in this country is it's, it's unsavoury, really, isn't it? Don't you think? It's just mental. How can young people afford to buy a place? They can't really. Well, that's mad. Madness. So, um, so yeah. There you go. This one's got a little, little roof. You know, like a little to stop, <laughs> stop the rain pouring in. It's a little porch. There you go. Got a little porch there. Nice. And put a little window in by the side. Cool. I'd like to. I wouldn't mind being a house designer, architect. What do you think? That'd be quite a good job, wouldn't it? <clears throat> Tell you what, they've built some in Tunbridge Wells at the moment. What? What an abomination! It's taken so long to build these. They they knocked down something that was really ugly anyway. They built in the seventies. I don't know how they ever got permission to start with, and they've just replaced it with the most hideous expensive flats unbelievable it's like who, who approved that it's like we're on we're like it's a race to the bottom isn't it and you look at the beautiful houses what 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 humans are capable of building and you think really come on you make it look a little bit more in keeping with rural tunbridge wells than than that people there you go, it's me having a moan about the local council. It's rubbish. you just got to wonder. And then when you see the price tag, what they charge, you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't get a flat. This is, I'm talking a flat here, right? 500,000, 600,000 pounds for a flat in Tunbridge Wells. So this is mental money. Absolutely mental money. Right, let's do this. Yeah, so why would you? Why would you strap yourself to that? Hey, Should we do one of these little gingerbread type affairs? That looks good, doesn't it? As a young person, why would you attach yourself to that kind of credit or debt, eh? You wouldn't. Well, I don't know. One does. Because the rents are extreme too. So, they got you, really. They got you. What about this one? Let's do this one, shall we? What's the time? It's 5-2 already. Okay, so let's put these houses, let's put these windows in. Sorry, I'm waffling away here to myself. There we go. Two little windows in there. I know it's nice to have the security of your own home. Of course it is. Peachy. In this day and age, I don't know. Is it crucial? I don't know. I mean, when I, when COVID started, 
Right, I got a letter from the bank. And it didn't say, don't worry, Barbara. We're here to help you. We're your listening bank. And we will support you through this. It said, if you do not continue to make your monthly mortgage payments, you will lose your house. I thought, thanks. That's just what I needed to hear. Hey, yeah. If you do not continue to make your monthly mortgage payments, you will lose your house. Okay, I'm glad that was clarified. <laughs> Bloody game. Yeah, and that's the thing, the old bills still come in, don't they? Shut you down, close the doors, stop people trading, but, oh, I'm getting on my, on my orange box here, but then what? You will lose your house. Okay. That makes me feel better. At least I'll know the score. Hmm? Yeah. And so, we doodle houses. <laughs> there we are. And that lovely little gingerbread roof. And we take it one day at a time. And we don't stress or sweat because you know what? It is what it is. It is what it is, people. Isn't it? If we lose the house, we lose the house. No, I don't think we will. I'll start selling my shirts. <laughs> And you know, I got plenty of shirts. Now, let's have a look. So we can make this lovely picture. Look, I really am enjoying this. Should we do the big, the big, let's have a nice big dome. This is a nice one. Right up there. We don't want to interfere with this bit though. See, you see what I'm getting at, can't you? So we'll put a little, there we go. Put a little mantelpiece in there. God, do you know what I've just thought? This would be really, 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 really nice. You could make a little balcony, like a Romeo and Juliet balcony. Yeah. Right, so this is the window. Cool. There you go. You could make a little balcony. In fact, let's. There you go, look. Balcony. Oh, <laughs> I love it. There you go, forget the window, we put a balcony in. No planning permission required. Got a chimney going up there. Nice. I love that. So we've got a tunnel going through there. You can... it's, it's definitely a tall one. This is lovely, isn't it? I'm really enjoying this. So let's put the four windows in here. You don't have to put four in if it's too busy, just put two in. You are the architect. You are the designer. This is your town. You don't have to apply for planning. You can do what your heart desires. It's whatever you fancy. Isn't that cool? That's a cool thing, isn't it? Hmm? Now this one here looks a little bit wonky, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put a I wonder if we can, yeah, that'll work. Let me put a little bit of a window ledge in. So we've just got to finish this one. What's the time? Is it already? Oh, Barbara, I don't want to rush it. Right, big window here. I'm going to put another lovely big panoramic view in this one. This is, if you bought this one, that's where you'd sit, hey, eh? in that top window. So this one's going to have a, a really beautiful window, like that. Yes, this is going to have a huge window. And then this has got that lovely... You can't get blinds for that bit. This is where um, Helen had to take her curtains down because of the cats. Or oh, is it Susan White? <laughs> there you go, <laughs> the cats. Put a little cat on that window. That's going to be a perfect place to sit. There you go. North light. Lovely for drawing. Cool. Who would sit in there? Hmm? Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's 
going to be a door there. I'm not going to worry about another window there. That one's going to come across like that. That's like that. So you could put another... I don't want to confuse it, though. What have we missed? Only these ones here. Right, so I'm going to put in this one here, I'm going to put... got the chimney there. Because I don't want to confuse the... The wire, see? That's the thing. So I'm just going to make that that big. There we are. I don't even want to... Oh, it's just one window. This is the side of the... Should we put one more in there? Just because otherwise it looks a little bit weird. Be a bit dark, wouldn't it? Not a great selling point. Come on then, we're just going to have to cut through there. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. And then we've got a window in the, in the roof, so you could put one of those in. It's a little bit wonky, but that'll work. Bit of a, what are they called? Velux. I might have to work on that because that's gone a bit wrong now. But let's call it a day for today. Oh, do you know what? I was going to put a little, I could put a little one of those, those lovely features up there as well. Yeah. Definitely. And that's going to have one of those those windows that you get in Holland. One of those ones up there. Fabulous. And I'm going to put another one in there just because I can. Hey, Isn't they look lovely. Smashing. Love it. Moon. There you go. I'm just going to work on my little Velux window because that one, that one needs a bit of help. It's a little bit on the wonk. I might have to... I might have to change that a little bit. But the thing is, you see, you get immersed, you get absorbed in this. And it's it's easy art, isn't it? It's easy. It's just sharpen your pencil, titivate, add another window. How 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 lucky are we that we can do those things, you know? So and the sun's come out as well. Call those windows are filthy. <laughs> the windows are filthy because of the storms we had. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Get your composition ready for this one. If you're really into it, make four, you know. I'm going to titivate mine, bring mine up to planning permission. It's going to be lovely, perfect. And then on, on, um, on Wednesday, we'll transfer it. And I'm, I'm thinking... Um, that we could transfer it either to, well, I need to go with something that you've all got. So it may be that we go to, we'll either go to the light buff paper, yeah, like we did before, but the light stuff that's in the pack, or we'll stick with copy paper. Okay, I'm going to stick with what you, most of you have already got, which is either going to be white or buff. Okay, if I said designer paper, then many of you will say, well, I've got a designer paper. I'll do one on designer paper so you can see what it looks like. How's that? Okay. So what you are going to need is a white pencil if we're working on buff paper and your colouring pencils. How's that sound? Okay. So stay safe. Have a lovely Monday and Tuesday. And I shall see you on Wednesday. Same place, same time in the Shack Shack at 10 o'clock. Stuart, thanks for your help. See you later, guys. Bye-bye now. Mm-hmm.